Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Halo MCR and uh, you better buckle yourself fucking in for this one because we have some goat worship reactions. So obviously I can't really quite play everything if I find that it might violate policy. I might have to skip over some certain things, but this isn't even that bad compared to some of the shit that is really out there that... I may or not, may not be able to react to one day if it's extremely heavily censored. I might have to just explain certain things to you guys. Um, and that's if I can even find it because this motherfucker is weird, dude. Like, as much as he preaches about, you know, the Illuminati and the world around us and a lot of the shit that he talks about actually is, like, legitimate shit that actually happens and is going on. I mean, you'll just have to see throughout time to give your guys' own estimation. I mean, again... Um, we've done a video on this already talking about Randy Prozac and I mean There was a lot of shit. He talked about that You know, I agreed with for the most part and other shit that I just didn't quite understand But I do look up to the guy in a sense not in the sense where I Agree with his devil worshiping bullshit because I don't believe in the devil and I don't worship the devil And I, I just don't care about that shit, you know fuck that shit. I could give a rat's ass about that what I do care about, though, is the actual messages of what he's trying to get across that mean more to me than anything else. The devil-worshipping shit is just humor. It's just shock humor at best, and that's always, that's always how it kind of has been. But my point being is the old shit would... You guys would trip out if you've seen the old shit. This is remnants from the old stuff, but not quite as hardcore as some of his content has kind of been in the past but you know um, it's up to your guys's own interpretation how you guys exactly view this um, I think it's all satire at least this segment is completely satire and it's not really meant to be taken anything other than that but we'll see what you guys think and what you guys are trying to put together with it maybe there's something more there that I'm just not simply seeing but viewer discretion is definitely advised as I cannot stress this fact enough that if some of y'all are very like sensitive to like crazy shit then this is probably the wrong channel that you subscribe to to be completely honest with you because I am just an off the wall kind of content creator and I kind of just do whatever I want or react to whatever I want but you guys just have to see this shit this shit is old by the way this shit has been around since I was a kid right uh, watching it with my buddy Brandon, so yeah, let me know. This is uh, Goat Worship's uh, Mormon Mormon Bates video, which it doesn't even make a lot of sense to me other than the fact that he wants to sacrifice his friend Mortis uh, to the devil. I'm assuming. I, I don't know. I I don't know. That's just what I'm assuming. But y'all have to be the judge in this one. You have no meaning. You have no understanding of how small you are. You have no understanding of who I am, where I am from. Believing only what you see is real, not knowing that you are merely puppets. I mean, come on, that shit is just so fucking random. Like, why Ronald McDonald? Well, I could probably actually answer that for you. Ronald McDonald and McDonald's are the world's largest, greediest, piece of shit, corpo, corporational company that doesn't give a fuck about anybody, and they don't give a fuck about you. You know what I mean? That's really what it boils down to, and that's why he chose Ronald McDonald. Again, it's all satire, but, I mean, the motherfucker makes some good points right there. I mean, we are nothing. We are insignificant compared to the great cogs in the wheel of the machine that is the all-knowing, the all-powerful, the almighty, being the government, the Illuminati, the corporations, all entombed, imbued into one entity. We are nothing compared to these people, and we always will be nothing, and we'll never be able to match their statures unless we somehow accumulated all this wealth of money. That's basically his point, which is a, it's a really good point. It's fucking stupid the way he's doing it, but I mean, it's stupid in the way that I, I think it's funny. You know, but I guess to each his own. But that's basically what the beginning intro is of why he's saying that. He's basically trying to get you to realize that you're nothing at the end of the day. That we are all just vessels to serve and slave over the Illuminati, essentially, is what he's trying to say. 
which is fucked up because I, I, I don't want to live in a world like that. But corporational takeover and uh, things like that have definitely ensured that we're all slaves. Rather we like it or not, we are going to be slaves probably for the rest of our lives, and it's fucked up. You know, and that's why I like Randy's messages, because he gets you to really think about a lot of shit. But let us continue with this random ass video that I, again, I, I just don't know how to really explain what's going on in this video. So it'll be up to your own interpretations to uh, definitely tell you something about it. There they go. They're trying to make some Big Macs. I thought they were trying to kill each other. No, it just looks violent, but really, it's 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 sex. I got very scared. Well, not me, Mortis. Not me. Oh, oh, you see what I'm saying? Like he he took a look at that, and the first thing he thought to his mind, like it's just a bunch of random horses roaming around and shit. No, no, Mortis, Mortis, listen to me, Mortis. It's not that, it's sex, okay? It's sex. These animals are having sex right now, which they're obviously not, but I mean, okay? <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, oh man, this shit's just fucking funny. I, I don't know. I think that shit's hella funny because it's fucking stupid, and it makes no sense at all as to why he would have thought that they were having sex when they obviously weren't, because he's a fucked up ass motherfucker, dude, who has a fucking crazy ass sense of fucking humor but let's continue though all right mortis all right mortis i'm filled with void and emptiness and darkness and pollution mortis filled with urine feces and pus mortis isn't that exciting all the good things in life mortis well why don't you come and have a hamburger with me mortis why don't you come and have a hamburger with Ron? I'm your best friend, Mortis. Have ten hamburgers, Mortis. And you can have some chicken nuggets, Mortis. And you can have some Coca-Colas with some, with some quarter powders with cheese, Mortis. Okay, Mortis, I'm going to tell you a story about how I became Ronald McDonald. I love how he plays the stereotypical American that thinks that just... Getting you hella fucking fat as fuck off McDonald's and chicken nuggets and Big Macs and hamburgers and just getting hella fat and diabetes and fucking just fat as fuck, right? Like, he thinks that's the best way to persuade the normal individual, which, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, McDonald's is pretty fucking good, though. I mean, I think we can all somewhat agree as much as we hate McDonald's as a corporation and that they're pretty goddamn evil. Um... Their shit's fire, they, dude. I love their Big Macs, though, seriously. And, I mean, that's not enough to persuade me. Alright? I mean, you could feed me all the fucking goddamn McDonald's you want, but it ain't gonna change my mind, necessarily. I mean, maybe for Mortis it will, but not for me. What are you gonna do about me when I tell you I don't want that fucking shit? What if I tell you I don't want to be a fucking tool to the McDonald's corporation? What are you gonna tell me then? You're just gonna tell me to sit there in my fucking little chair and just eat my little fucking McDonald's and get hella fat and disgusting and decrepit? With some, with some quarter powders with cheese, Mortis? Okay, Mortis, I'm gonna tell you a story about how I became Ronald McDonald. You wanna hear the story? Okay. okay Mortis, I wasn't always Ronald McDonald, you know. I, I used to be quite normal like you. But then, but then something happened, Mortis. I had no friends. My dad was in the army and we always had to move around and my mother, well, she was an alcoholic, so I didn't have very many friends. But then, but then I had a Ouija board, Mortis. I had a Ouija board and I called up this spirit and the spirit's name was Grimace, Mortis. And Grimace told me all these things about life and, and he said, you can have all these wonderful things if you just accept me into your life. Apparently, according to Ronald McDonald, all I have to do is accept a uh, grimace into my life to be absolved of all my sins. Apparently, grimace, you guys, right, is the all fucking founder and creator of life and reality itself. I mean, for you to even sit there and fucking be alive as a person, you owe your fucking gratitude to grimace, you guys. This is the guy that is the fucking ruler of the planes of eternity. How in the fuck did I miss that? I mean, here I thought it was Jesus Christ, which it obviously is, 
but apparently there's a whole nother higher power of religion is Grimace being fat, eating McDonald's, and praying to this fucking purple goddamn fat motherfucker. Okay, it's the solution to absolve, being absolved of all sins, of all uh, things you've ever done in your life. You know, you just gotta fucking pray to him. You gotta ask him for forgiveness, and then you gotta fucking sit there and fucking bathe in Big Macs, okay? And literally just rub your fucking nipples and your tits with the fucking chicken McNuggets while praying to Grimace. I'm assuming that's what he's trying to say. I'm just here to decipher the message for you guys, but apparently this is the new form of religion, is believing in Grimace. I, I, this is the first I've ever even known of this. And it was almost like a religious experience, Mortis. And well, since I didn't have any friends, Mortis, I just said to Grimace, I said, Grimace, okay, do with me as you will, for I will serve you faithfully forever. And then that's what happened. I became Ronald McDonald. I became a god, Mortis, because I just accepted Grimace. You see, so Grimace lives in me now. That's what I have now, Mortis. Grimace is living inside of me. And Grimace tells me all sorts of wonderful things. He he tells me that that I can that I can fly and that I can I can rule the world, Mortis. Because I can. Alright, so check it out. Apparently, if you're having a bad day, apparently if you just fucking believe hard enough in the Lord Savior of Grimace that is from McDonald's, you will have a spiritual epiphany, right? And and Grimace will awaken you. Grimace is all-knowing, okay? You, you can't fool Grimace because he knows everything. He watches you when you sleep. He watches you when you shower. He watches you when you shit. Hell, he probably even watches you masturbate, okay? Grimace is always there. That is what Bronner McDonald is trying to fucking tell you, people, that he is always there. That Grimace is Grimace, and he works in very mysterious ways, I can only imagine. Uh, realistically, if you disrespect Grimace, and you disrespect the Ronald McDonald cult of following, of, uh, exploiting people for, uh, food additives and addictives and fucking probably drugs soaked into their goddamn hamburger meat that looks like fucking pink slime. You know, they charge hella money for it now, too. A Big Mac meal with some fries. That'll be $13. When it used to be way cheaper back in the day, but... My point being is that... If you just let it all go, right? If you just let every single fucking thing of your body go... And you just give yourself to Grimace, however that may be. And that maybe that involves jumping off a fucking bridge. Maybe that involves fucking uh, sacrificing somebody for Grimace. I'm not really sure how one can satisfy Grimace like Ronald McDonald was able to get a spiritual awakening. So it's a quest on its own, which I have no fucking idea if there's even an end to that quest. But maybe there is. Maybe you guys know a solution to appeasing Grimace. Uh, share them in the comments down below. But yeah, you know, he just wants to make sure that you guys understand that Grimace is a reason we're even all here. The reason I'm even here right now is because of, of Grimace. I never would have fucking thought this, you guys. Where the f Where have I been? That's what I know. Where the fuck have I been to have not seen this fucking sooner? It wasn't Jesus, okay? That was put up on the cross. It was fucking Grimace. No, I'm just fucking with you guys, seriously. No, but seriously, though. Um, obviously, that's all fucking horse shit. But, I mean, he's trying to sit here and convince me that a flying fucking McDonald's mascot is the reckoning of calling of all judgment in the whole universe. Okay. I obviously don't believe that, but... What? Like, what? You know what I mean? Like, just keep watching. And I have, and I will continue to rule the world forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever, Mortis. Yes! Mortis, now I have all the friends and I have all the love 
and everybody in the world says they love me Mortis because I'm not just Ronald McDonald, I'm a savior Mortis, I'm a savior to this, this, this patheticness of humanity Mortis. <laughs> And it feels good, doesn't it, Mortis? Doesn't it feel good, Mortis? Mortis, get over here! Twenty billion people eat nuggets all over the world. Our chicken nuggets are the best chicken nuggets. We only use a hundred percent flesh. I, I don't want that fucking freak to find me. Mortis! Mortis, where are you? Mortis! It's your new best friend, Ronald, looking for ya! Mortis, I know you're around here somewhere. I know you're around here somewhere, Mortis! 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 I'm not going to hurt you, Mortis. You know I like you, Mortis. You know I like you, Mortis, and I don't want to hurt you. Let me give you a hamburger, Mortis. Let me give you a hamburger. I, I got one here somewhere. So yeah, one begins to wonder exactly where this is going. I don't know. I don't know how to explain any of this shit. And that's been the great mystery behind Goat Worship, personally, in my opinion, is trying to decipher what some of these messages mean. Some of them are just flat out fucking uh, satire, shock humor to piss people off. I mean, earlier you seen a fucking flag being glitched into the fucking system, so... Obviously, I mean, that was just to upset people and shock them. Maybe he is a fucking Nazi. I'm not sure. I don't really... I don't know. Nobody really knows who this person is. That's the great mystery behind him. That's what makes him a very interesting person, in my opinion. Because he has a lot to share. And I mean, in the interview, like I said, it's like a two-hour interview. And I'll link it at the end of the video. Uh, it's not me interviewing him. It's me reading a interview from him to another person, right? That kind of opens up the idea of how he thinks in a way. And I can't really tell you what the message here in this one is. Maybe you guys will interpret it differently. I, the way that I'm looking at it realistically is just to show you how evil McDonald's is as a corporation. I mean... It kind of does it, but it's more of a just like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to make whatever video I kind of want to. You know what I mean? So, that's been the great thing about these videos, though, is that as hard as they are to watch, a lot of them are hella hard to watch, I'll be honest with you. Like I said, you haven't even seen the fucking crazy ones yet. And those ones, I probably won't even be able to show them just because, uh, yeah, it probably wouldn't be good for me to do that. But I will definitely, later down the road, make some kind of reaction to it without having to, like, show people it. And kind of explain to you, re realistically, what's going on in half these videos. Um, and then, of course, some people already know about the elf, you know. Willy! Willy! Really, Willy! So... For those that have seen that, like, in my, uh, in my content nukes, just that random ass dude with the glasses and shit, um, he's in those videos, actually. He, he has his own segment, and his is pretty, uh, disturbing, to say the least. There's several things that he does. Uh, Jimpy the Clown, and Jimpy's probably the worst one out of anybody, um, he's just fucking completely insane, I mean... He literally has sex with a pizza box, right? And he starts, like, fornicating with the pizza box, right? While being drunk. Uh, and these are all, th like, crazy shit, right? That 
was just out kind of out there in the open and people didn't really know about it and uh you know that's how that's yeah seriously i've seen a lot of these actually they're they're fucking really crazy and then like you'll watch one and then you'll want to watch another one and then you'll just be like wanting to watch it to see what the message is which it can be interpreted in so many different ways and to hear other people's opinions about it like so openly about like these ty this type of content I always like to hear people's opinions As, you know what I mean As, like I said when it comes to this especially um, you know it just shows that people those people that kind of like get it but still jive with it because you are trying to figure out like what the message is then I would say you would have an open mind because you'd have to be pretty fucking insane to sit here and decipher shit like this. But I find it just funny. And I mean, again, shout out to Brandon because Brandon's like, again, Brandon's the only person that I know that knows about shit like this, dude. And he just, he, that's, that's what makes him unique though, is he knows all about this type of shit. And I learned all of it from him, you know, like, he would probably be able to explain it way better than I could, and I'm trying my best. But, uh, uh, you know, he's just an anonymous person on the internet that has messages to speak, to show us. But this isn't what really one of them. This is just him being fucking stupid, though, once again. Where? Oh, what's wrong with you, Mortis? You know, Mortis, we're just playing around, aren't we, Mortis? I'm just... I'm just having some fun with you, Mortis. Don't you want to live forever, Mortis, with my hamburgers, Mortis? Oh, Mortis, I can see us now. If it's just you and me, Mortis, there won't be anyone to ever stop us, Mortis. You and me and my hamburgers, Mortis. Oh, I can just see it now. Everyone coming from all around the world so that they can have hamburgers with Mortis and Ronald. Oh, it'd be so good, Mortis. Yes, Mortis! 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 I wonder where the cows went. They all gone. Oh. Just once it won't hurt. What have I done? You know what you did, Mortis. <laughs> Boy, this is an interesting lump in the ground. Yeah, well that's where I buried the first guy that I killed, Mortis. Oh, it has a history. The dude, the dude, the dude, Randy, man, he's just, oh, I don't know, man. I I don't really know what to think about half this shit that I watch when it comes to him. Uh, other times, it's, like I said, it's kind of, like, unbearable to watch. Other times, it's pretty funny. It just depends on what skit it is at what moment. Uh, but I just don't understand how, uh, you know, like, I... How were any of us supposed to know that Mortis couldn't eat the hamburger? I mean, it kind of makes sense as to why he shouldn't. But, I mean, the burger's good. It's delicious. And that's how they suck you in and then get you hella fat. And by the time you know it, you won't even be able to go outside or walk outside or really do much of anything other than just sit there and eat McDonald's all day. Yeah. I think that's what the message really comes down to. Guy that I killed, Mortis. Oh, it has a history. Yeah, it means something to me, Mortis. It was the first person that I killed. I buried right there, Mortis. Oh, tell me more. 
Now you really want to hear about it, Mortis? I do. Yeah, you really want to hear about it, Mortis? Yeah. Remember I told you when I was 16, Mortis? Yeah. Yeah. I killed somebody, Mortis. Yeah. I took them in the back of my parents' bedroom. Uh-huh. And I killed them. I killed a little boy named Johnny. <laughs> You're fibbing me. No. No. That stupid faggot was always bugging me, always saying that I was a faggot, and he was always joking around with Why me. Why would anybody say that? I don't know. I don't know, Mortis. I don't know. But the fact is, Mortis, I killed him. I drained his blood, Mortis. And I dragged him out here, Mortis. And that's where I put him, Mortis. That goddamn bastard is there, Mortis. I didn't have a problem with it, Mortis. Just killed him. It didn't bother me at all, Mortis. I didn't even flinch, Mortis. I just did it, Mortis! I'm just gonna go on the notion and record that I think that's obviously bullshit. It's just part of the skit. But yeah, it is, yeah, it definitely is really uh, fucked up to, to say some shit like that. Like, just be so okay with murdering somebody. But again, I mean, it's up to your own tr interpretation. Uh, of course, to me, it's just satire. And it's shit that I don't even believe. But, I mean, who knows? Imagine if he actually was telling the truth, like he just admitted to a murder right now. Had that actually been the truth, but I don't really think that's the case. But maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm not. I don't know, that's just hella crazy, and then he just yells at him, like right there at the end, he just fucking yells at him for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I did, Mortis. I can do it again, Mortis. Huh? I don't even care. How about if I just drill your head right here and bury you with my, uh, my friend little Billy there, Mortis? How would you like that, Mortis, right now? I think you're crazy! You think I'm crazy, Mortis? You're crazy, man. I am crazy, Mortis. Oh, I'm just testing you, Mortis. Just, you know, just playing with you a little bit, Mortis. <laughs> just, just playing with you, Mortis. Just having, a, just having some McDonald's fun, Mortis! Well, it's not funny! It's really funny if you don't care about it, Mortis. Why am I carrying this stupid thing around? The past just comes up behind you, Mortis. And we're all going in a hole anyway, aren't we, Mortis? We're all just going in a hole. And you're just going in a hole, Mortis. And I'm just going in a hole. I'm doing him a favor, Mortis. I'm doing him a favor. Okay, okay. I'm cool. I'm cool, Mortis. Yeah. I just yeah. get a little bit excited, you know, when I think about the past, you know? Just thinking about me reliving those experiences. Yeah. But I'm not afraid, Mortis. I'm not afraid to kill somebody if they offend me. No, I understand. And that's okay. Yeah. It's okay if you're offended and you want to kill somebody and follow it out. What? You've been offended. You've been offended, so why not, Mortis? It's okay, Mortis, to take a to take a hammer and start smashing in the skull and till it's all over. And keep on swearing and saying, you bastard. Bastard. You bastard. You bastard. <laughs> and bash his brains in <laughs> until it's nothing, Mortis. <laughs> Maybe I try it. Yeah. Maybe I kill somebody. Maybe you could, Mortis. But not today. Not today, Mortis. When do I get my head drilled? Well, you want to do that right now, Mortis? Yeah. All right, well, we can. Let's go. Okay, Mortis. You're just about ready. Okay, that was the last little bit. I'm going to miss my gorgeous locks of hair. Well, now you're going to be able to be enlightened, Mortis. <laughs> All right, Mortis. Wait. Are you ready? No. I think I've changed my mind. What? I think I've changed my mind. Is that okay? Well, it's your decision, Mortis. But you're missing your opportunity for immortality. And I think the best thing to do right now, Mortis, is to drill a hole in your head. Don't you, Mortis? No. Don't you, Mortis? No. 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 Yeah, you heard that. So, yeah, you guys heard that right. For uh, Mortis to have immortality, apparently uh, getting your head drilled in with a drill is one of them. And he attempts to try to drill at him, and then he has to chase him down again. It's like a game of cat and mouse. And Mortis just keeps going back into it. He obviously wants to be sacrificed. He doesn't seem to get what's going on with him. But essentially, I mean, y'all kind of get it now, right? Which is not something you're supposed to ever understand. And that's what makes it a great mystery. Like, why did it have to come to Mortis getting his, hill, his head drilled in? Why couldn't it have been something else? 
There's always those what ifs. To the loophole paradigm, or wherever the hell you're gonna go to be able to figure this shit out. No! Mortis! That's it, Mortis! You'll have to live with your destiny, Mortis. You'll have to live with your so destiny, Mortis. He drills your his destiny head and is now, Mortis. Your destiny. Agonizing pain as uh, he begins to start drilling his head, and uh, it doesn't seem like it's real. I don't think it was really done because the camera's kind of panned away from it, so you can't really see it. Entering he doesn't show it entering really from the opposite side. It looks like it's kind of just behind his head So I think Mortis was just pretending to be drilled, but he never really was it's not like he is actually Committing a murder live on screen because that's not what was going on He just makes it look like he is You know I can definitely tell that It was just the special effects or whatever you know, like with other scenarios where you think it's like a real person or a real person standing in. Ends up being like a stunt dummy. A stunt dummy or something like that. Live with your destiny, Mortis. You'll have to live with your destiny, Mortis. Your destiny is now, Mortis. Your destiny is now. Mortis. This is my blood. You should drink of my blood, Mortis. <laughs> it's good, isn't it, Mortis? Oh, yeah. Mortis. My blood isn't free. It comes at a price, Mortis. Everything I do, Mortis, it's all for you. It's all for you, Mortis. Oh, Mortis, I think it's time we move on to the next phase in our relationship, Mortis. Are you ready? ready. Are you ready for your next lesson, Mortis? I'm ready. I want what you want, Ronald. It's good, Mortis. I want what you want, Ronald. Good, Mortis. And you know what I want, Mortis? What do you want? I want you to eat my blood. <laughs> For all eternity, Mortis. Forever, Mortis. For all eternity, Ronald. Forever, <laughs> Ronald. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Forever and ever, Mortis. Forever and ever, Ronald. Yes. <laughs> this is your last faith lesson, Mortis. So I definitely, again, uh, I try to analyze these videos for some kind of meaning or message, and to me, there doesn't really seem to be quite the message. It's just hella weird, and this is the type of shit that mainly used to be on YouTube back in the day. I mean, again, this isn't as bad as the other shit technically would be, but it's still kind of eerie. It's like, what inspired this person, right, to throw on a fucking Ronald McDonald outfit and just decide one day that he was gonna do this with this goblin. Like, who the hell's the goblin? You know what I mean? I don't even know who the goblin is. I don't know where he came from or how they even got into this situation. They kind of just are there, you know? And I mean, they take inspirational, like, comedy skits, kind of like how uh, South Park maybe sometimes or 
um, family guy with its random shit that kind of happens, a robot chicken, that's the kind of way that I see it being, but a lot more obviously darker. So, as the video progresses and continues as we reach the end, I'm still kind of sitting here obviously wondering, I, I, like, why, you know, why for any of this, so... I guess it's not really supposed to make sense, but it would be nice if it kind of did, in my opinion. But, I mean, it is what it is. At the end of the day, you have goddamn Ronald McDonald drilling out a goblin's head and um, attempting to sacrifice him when he said that, you know, um, he had been awakened by the spirit of Grimace. So, I mean, we never even got it detailed explanation on that but other than just what he said i don't know it's just weird it's like i said trying to piece all the story together it just not doesn't really make any sense this is it right here mortis so listen up listen up mortis because this is your last chance mortis if you fail me mortis you will never be able to enter the gates with me, Mortis. <laughs> Watch and learn, Mortis. <laughs> Come with me, Mortis. Come with me, Mortis. Enter the eternal fires with me, Mortis. You deserve it, Mortis. Come, Mortis. Come and take my hand, Mortis. <laughs> So there you guys have it, some fucking crazy off the wall shit that I still to, the, to this day don't quite understand and never really could. Um, basically they throw themselves into the fire and they die and they sacrifice themselves. But really, the, you gotta think of how old this video really truly is and I mean their editing skills are pretty dog shit compared to like now if they try to do some shit like that. But back then it was futuristic for them I guess, I don't know. That's just shit's hella crazy to me, if you ask me. But, that, that's just one example, right? Out of so many more types of videos that these people genuinely have. And if you guys would be interested in maybe seeing more, as uh, other stuff may be heavily censored, and would still like a genuine reaction to what it is, I can definitely do that if you guys want. It all depends on how much you guys support the video and show your likes and appreciation and subscribe and all that other fucking good shit, you guys. You guys already know, so let me know what you guys think about the video, for sure, for sure, for sure. I don't expect a lot of people to really, uh, I would even say really like this type of shit, but I always thought it was funny and random and just really fucking stupid. Uh, but again, to each his own, it is what it is. Again, uh when Randy Prozac isn't making like fucking weird videos like this to try to throw people off. He'd be talking about some really, really crazy shit though. So other than that, that has been your guys' video and I'll see you guys in our next one.